All right, guys, welcome back to the channel here. In today's video, I wanted to talk about the Boss FS7 foot switch here because I keep seeing people on different Facebook groups and on YouTube still asking questions about what the capabilities of this foot switch is and how it is used in conjunction with a Boss GT1, for example. So I'm just going to take you through the basic overview of what this foot switch can do. If we take a look at the foot switch from the, the front here, you can see that this FS7 is a dual foot switch. So you have an A foot switch and a B foot switch. And each of the foot switch has their own dedicated LED light here. And this means that you can actually use this, for example, with the Boss GT1, where you can connect it and you can use this particular foot switch to control parameters or assigns, um, activate, turn on or off effects, um, basically allowing you to have much more freedom in creating your patches. If we take a look on the, the back side here, you'll be able to see that we have a 9 volt power DC in here and the only thing that the power is controlling is the status light of the LEDs. This foot switch will work as a bypass so it will be able to process the commands without any power. You can see here that we have um, the A and the B inputs here but underneath the, the B input you'll see that it also says A and B. And all of this corresponds to the way that you set this up and the different cables that you can use in order to set this up. If you connect a standard jack instrument cable to only the A side, you can, for example, run it to something like one of the bus overdrive or distortion pedals that accepts a remote, for example, where it can control um, two sides of an overdrive or some type of remote for one of the distortion pedals. You can do the same for the B side. So if you decide to use both A and B here with just two regular jack cables, you can actually send A as mentioned to an overdrive distortion pedal and you can send the B output to your looper for example and have that start and stop uh, the looper. But as you also see that underneath the B socket here it says A and B and this means that if you connect a TRS stereo jack to this input here. You only need that particular cable and you can connect that to the GT1 for example and its input on the rear. And this will allow you to use both the A and B side of the foot switch here. And for those of you who are not certain what a TRS jack is, this right here is a TRS jack because you have the you have the tip, you have the ring, and then you have the sleeve. So this is what a TRS jack looks like. It has the, the two rings down here. So you just need a cable with that in both ends, so a TRS cable. And the other way that you can operate this is that you can actually use what is called a Y cable, which is a cable with three plugs on it. At one end, at the, the Y end, so to speak, you have two regular um, jack instrument cables. And on the third end, you have a um, TRS jack, just as shown. So the two regular cables will go in here. And the TRS at the end of the cable is actually summing these two so that you can connect it to a looper or a multi effects unit, for example. I see a lot of questions being asked about if other foot switches from other manufacturers out there are compatible with use for the GT1 or the GT100, for example. And the short answer is that most of them are, but they might be set up or manufactured differently. And uh, you can get other foot switches to work, but there might be some limitations. And that's also why I always go in when I post a comment or I answer the, uh, the comments that I get in the, in the questions. Um, I'll always recommend the dedicated 
uh, boss foot switches because with this FS7 you know that it's 100% compatible and you'll be able to get the, the fullest out of it in order to control effects and set up assigns and, and whatnot. Um, the same goes for the FS6 which is an older unit um, foot switch for, from BOSS also but the FS7 here is just in its small form factor it doesn't take up that much space on the on the pedal board so this is a really good foot switch and that's why I al always recommend this when, uh, when I see people asking about secondhand or um, foot switches from other manufacturers.